Hi, and welcome to 3D Natives Lab. I'm Elliot, and today I'm going to introduce you to the latest budget 3D scanner from Shining 3D, the Einstar. The iStar is Shining 3D's first sub thousand dollars 3D scanner, but it isn't the Chinese manufacturer's first experience in the 3D scanning world, as the company was founded in 2004 and already offers a wide array of 3D scanning solutions, ranging from desktop and dental to metrologic grade 3D scanners. On top of its 3D scanners, Shining 3D also developed a range of resin 3D printers. This new edition completes Shining 3D's product offering by providing a budget option amongst a range of high-end scanning solutions. Coming in at a very attractive price point of around $960, is the Einstar really worth it? Let's have a look and figure out what it's really worth. So, what are the main characteristics of the Shining 3D Einstar? Let's have a look at its specs, as always, starting with the hardware. As soon as you get the Einstar out of its carrying case, you can easily imagine how much effort it took to miniaturize and pack so much hardware into a compact yet robust aluminum chassis. Being 220 by 46 by 55 millimeters and weighing around 500 grams, the structured light scanner fits well into the palm of the hand. On the front, behind the glass element, you can see the three cameras used to scan, as well as a bunch of LED lights. Two of these cameras are used to capture depths, and the third one is able to acquire color information. On top of the visible LED lights, the iStar is also equipped with three infrared VCSEL projectors. Thanks to all these components, the iStar is able to achieve precise color scanning at up to 14 frames per second. On the back of the scanner, we also notice two RGB LEDs, as well as three control buttons. Now, good hardware is one thing but no tech product would be complete without capable software. That's why Shining 3D developed their own proprietary software solution called X-Star. It's definitely one of the biggest strengths of the iStar, as scanners on this price range often skip out on software. But here, thanks to Shining 3D's experience, we're able to use an industry-grade tool with the iStar 3D scanner. This software provides an intuitive interface and an all-in-one solution for 3D scanning, thanks to calibration, scanning, post-processing and measuring workspaces. All these workspaces represent different steps of the 3D scanning process and offer a lot of different tools to visualize, modify and optimize your 3D scan. The software works in combination with the scanner to offer intuitive and easy to follow instructions. During the scanning process, the scanner itself indicates the ideal working distance thanks to an RGB LED. This information is also transmitted on the software's interface. You can start and stop both preview and scanning processes, as well as adjust zoom and brightness controls directly on the scanner, thanks to three buttons. Upon entering the scanning workspace, we're greeted with an interface, allowing to choose between different profiles, to scan people, small or medium to large objects. It also lets the user set the alignment mode, thanks to four settings. The iStar 3D scanner relies heavily on its software, and for this reason, it requires a powerful computer. So the recommended minimum configuration is a Windows 10 or 11 PC featuring a GTX 1060 GPU with 6GB of video memory or more and an Intel i7-11800H CPU, as well as at least 32GB of RAM. On top of these requirements, XStar is currently only compatible with Windows. Sorry Mac and Linux users. Thanks to both a solid component selection and a complete software package, we're able to create a digital copy of objects in full color with a lot of detail. The iStar was not only conceived to capture objects, but also to scan people. Thanks to XStar's person scanning feature, we're capable of doing torso or full scans of people in just a few minutes. The software includes a hair scanning mode to avoid any errors, and the scanner itself is perfectly adequate for scanning people, as its infrared lights are certified as class 1 lasers thus allowing the subject to keep his eyes wide open while being scanned without risking being blinded. Once our scans were done, we were able to visualize the digital twin of each object in full color. For darker or reflective objects, the use of a scanning spray like ASUB helped a lot. As far as the exporting goes, the software allows saving full scans as well as mesh models in OBJ, STL and 3MF file formats. Despite the iInstar's ease of use and its software features, there still is a learning curve for beginning users. But after a few test scans, it's quite easy to get the hang of it and get a grasp of parameters like scanning speed, angle and distance. Sometimes the scanner did lose tracking, but as soon as we aimed it at an already scanned part of the object, it was able to resume scanning. To further test the iInstar, we decided to scan a 3D print to then upload the reproduction into a CAD software and compare both models. Thanks to this example, you can really see the precision level of the iInstar. 
Available today at $960, the OnStar from Shining 3D will enable you to scan a large variety of subjects. Despite being in the low end of 3D scanners on the market price-wise, the OnStar is a solid option to enter the Shining 3D ecosystem and experiment with high fidelity color scanning. After a few weeks of testing and experimenting, we rated the Shining 3D OnStar with our usual criteria, giving it a final score of 9.5 out of 10. To see how we calculated this score, you can read our written article here. To discover all the 3D printers tests we have done, click here. See you soon for our next test in the 3D Natives Lab.